Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this Thule Holovator Pro model number 898. I'm going to do a little unboxing here for you. So it does come with straps, nice Thule cam buckle straps with uh, rubber protectant. I'll be installing these in Thule's Aeroblades. Uh, you can also install these in uh, the Thule square bars. First thing you want to do is prep these bars to be installed into your roof rack. Next, you want to go ahead and grab these brackets and insert it on the bar, just like that. After you insert the bracket, you want to screw it in just like that with a, a bolt, washer, and a nut. So you just want to go put it in, you put your bolt, then your washer, your washer, and then the nut. And you want to repeat that step for the next three. So after you put that in, they do come with two wrenches. You want to go ahead and uh, Tighten it. Just like that. All right, next you wanna take your cover and go ahead and snap it into place. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, repeat on all four brackets. So next, we're going to want to cut this wind strip right here so that we can attach it to the T-track on this arrow blade. We're going to go ahead and take the bracket and align it toward the end. Align this part, this bracket, toward the end of the arrow blades. Alright, so now you know where you want to cut this wind strip we'll push this back just a little and you want to get a marker and mark it right there that's where we want to cut we're gonna go ahead and open up the end cap and we're gonna go ahead and pull out the wind strip and cut where I mark Grab the scissor. Just cut away. Go ahead and tuck that back in. Then you want to get your excess uh, strip, and I'm going to cut about another maybe half an inch on both sides or just an inch total. All right, there you go. And then we're going to want to see. You're going to want a gap where this can fit inside and you have your weather strip or your wind strip. Looks like I need to cut another inch or the size of this bracket right here. All right, now you want to get these square nuts. Go ahead and insert one into the T-track and just slide it all the way through. 
then you're gonna go ahead and take your windscreen protector thing and just place it back into place all right just like so and you're gonna get another square nut and slide it into the t-track all right then you're gonna go ahead and uh, close the end cap now you're gonna take your bracket and go ahead and align it where it should be you're gonna go ahead and take the included bolt and just go ahead and uh, bolt it into place from the top and try and catch that track catch that bolt there All right, I inserted both bolts. Now you wanna go ahead and uh, tighten it. You wanna make sure it's flush. There you go, you got it. nice and tight. So that's how it looks nice and tight. Then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat these steps on the back. Now you wanna get your track and you're gonna insert it toward the top end of the hull elevator. You wanna make sure that the holes that are closer together go in first. So these two are closer together. I wanna slide it in first. Just like that. All right, now you wanna take your bolt and your washer and we're gonna go ahead and mount this into the track. I'm gonna put the washer in, put the bolt in, and go ahead and align it on that first track. There we go. You have another washer and another bolt. You just go ahead and slip into place. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten it with a wrench. So we just want to hand tighten it. All right, just like that. So it's still slide up and down. Oh, there you go. Still slides up and down. Next, you want to take your little knob here and go ahead and uh, place it on that top hole. So yeah, this is used to tighten, make sure it's in place. Now we're gonna take the bigger bar and connect it to the, on the other end, the bigger of the two. We're gonna take these square nuts and go ahead and slide it in the track. Two square nuts, slide it into track. And that's how we're gonna bolt this into place. This is in a fixed position where this is adjustable. So we wanna fix this to the furthest it can go. Washer and the bolt. Washer and the bolt. Right, now you wanna tighten it into place. All right, after you tighten it, you wanna repeat that on the other elevator. All right, now you're gonna mount the elevator itself into the bracket. All you have to do is you're gonna align this pin, this pin right here, to the lip on the edge of the bracket. Just like that. Now you're going to get the pin 
and go ahead and insert it the hole to lock everything into place. You're gonna have to align the hole. There you go. Once you got it locked into place, push that down and you're set. Now your elevator is installed. You gotta remember that you have to have at least four inches away from the base of the car or that arrow blade. Four inches sticking out. All right, here it is. You have enough room so you don't scratch your car. You're going to go ahead and repeat those steps on the rear. And it's easy to remove as well, just in case you want to uh, go into a garage where you don't have the height clearance. You're going to do the same thing. And then remove the pin. And you're done. All right. So there you have it. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be uh, comparing the Tully Hullivator and the Yakima Showdown. I'll be testing it, showing you how it works with a 85 pound kayak on him. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.